Welcome back guys for another Dokkan Battle video and today we are going to be talking about something that is very very hype. Of course the next celebration that has been confirmed over here on Global Dokkan is going to be the Bojack celebration. So of course this is the Japanese timeline of events and before we actually start let me quickly pull up DBZ space uh, so I can show you guys um, the new data download. So let's go to cards. Um, and then we go to schedule and then right here. Yep We got Bojack Zanga the new awakening for the Whis as well as Hatchiak and then it appears that Bojack is gonna be releasing on The 28th which is two days from now because today's this one uh, the 26th from when I'm recording it at 1030 Pacific Standard Time so 1030 my time at night is when Bojack is gonna be releasing so this is all of it in the data so let's go over each and every single one of the units that are going to be coming in the celebration so first of all we're going to go over the timeline from the japanese one all right so of course we have bojack and zangia again bojack is the new dokkan fest exclusive his banner um again we'll talk about <clears throat> his banner in a separate video <clears throat> but he releases along with a new zangia uh, again just to quickly touch on zangia and uh bojack i think bojack is easily one of the best dokkan fest, uh, fest exclusives uh, again his team is really good Bojack overall is a really solid unit. Again, I'll make a separate video going over Bojack's team and how it's going to impact uh, the game and the meta. And then Zangia, uh, again, is a relatively decent unit. Uh, Hatchiak and Whis, of the two, I would have to say uh, Whis's Awakening is probably the best. And then another explosive chain battle against Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe this already released on... Uh, global, but if not, again, uh, we'll see. Again, I'm pretty sure this one already released, but I may be out of it right now. And then the EZA for the, I believe this is now the fourth or fifth, uh, 120% lead for global, of course, and that is Int Super Gogeta, as well as the EZA for uh, the Blue Goku, the AGL one, and then the Tech Blue Goku as well. And then I don't know if this is going to be coming as well, because again, we already got Gohan, but the EZA for the Hero and Extermination Plan, uh, this Gohan is going to be getting um, an EZA. Alright, so let's go over Bojack, because we have a lot of units to cover. So, uh, this is Murderous Overlord Bojack. Again, this is a transforming Bojack that then uh, transforms into full power Bojack. And right off the bat, Bojack is easily one of the best Dokkan Fest exclusives. His category, Space Traveling Warriors, is very, very good. Again, we'll talk about that in a separate video. He leads it 3 key, 170% to stats. So again, Bojack is the ideal leader for that category. And then Time Traveler's 3 key, 150% to stats, which is a huge thing for um, anyone, you know, wondering. This is very, very good for the game. The fact that Bojack is a new Time Traveler's category leader is very good. Because again, I love Rosé, I love the transforming Goku Black, but again, that Goku Black, he can get hit really, really hard uh, until he begins building up, but until then, you know, Goku Black can get hit really hard, and he's not, you know, necessarily the most ideal unit for, you know, Super Battle Road and all that, so Bojack being, you know, uh, the new leader for that category is very, very good. Alright, so Super Attack, he raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage to the enemy. Again, already a very good effect. Any type of raising defense, greatly raising, massively raising, that's going to be very good. Because again, Bojack is going to have really good defense, being a Dokkan Fest exclusive and having 12k defense. Alright, his passive, he gets 100% attack and defense. Again, really, really good, along with his 12k stats. He's raising defense on super attack, so again, Bojack is going to be at a very, very good defensive uh, stat. And then he's Space Traveling Warriors, 2 key, 30% attack and defense when facing one um, enemy. And then he gets an additional 10% attack and defense when facing two or more enemies. And then another 10% attack and defense when facing three or more enemies. So let's say in Super Battle Road, you decide to use this Bojack for, you know, Time Travelers, and you have, you know... I don't know, maybe one of the units on there is a Space Traveling Warrior category unit as well, on the Time Travelers category. And you're facing, let's say, five enemies. Bojack is going to be giving that unit two key and 50% attack and defense. So, Bojack is very, very good. 
um, especially in things like Super Battle Road, if you're running, you know, Time Travelers for whatever reason, and, you know, you have some units on there that are also on Space Traveling Warriors, Bojack in Super Battle Road, if you're facing three or more enemies, is going to be giving them two key and 50% attack and defense, and even without all the extra attack and defense, two key and 30% attack and defense is very, very good. Uh, that's the buff that Cooler gives as well uh, to, I believe it is, Transformation Boost. So, again, very, very good um, support type ability right there. And then his transformation is actually not hard to get at all. Um, it's He transforms on the fourth turn when facing one enemy. Now, of course, this can be a bit of a hindrance in Super Battle Road. But again, fourth turn, you're probably going to be fighting one enemy by then you know you know one enemy is probably going to be on like the last bit of health so then you know you can go ahead transform with bojack and then absolutely steamroll and then again the reason why bojack is such an important figure right now is because of his link set now we all know that the lr bojack is still very good by no means is it a bad unit but again running this bojack with the lr is going to make this bojack look even better because they're going to share things like heraclan which is too key and 5% chance to perform a critical hit. Now that doesn't that doesn't seem like a big thing, but again for the LR, an extra 2 key is an extra 2 key to get his 24 key off. Galactic Warriors, which at level 10 is 2 key, 20% attack and defense, that is a huge buff. Big Bad Bosses, we all know how great that link is. Thirst for Conquest, 15% attack and defense. Uh, Fierce Battle, 20% attack. I don't think that the LR has Revival, and um, I don't know why they gave him Coward. That that one is just like one where I'm just like, why? <laughs> why did you guys give him Coward? I mean, they could have given him um, maybe even Strongest Clan in Space. I know that's usually a Frieza link, but I feel like they could have given Bojack like Strongest Clan in Space. They could have given him Shocking Speed. They could have given him, you know, you know, even Over in a Flash. You know, literally anything other than Coward or even, you know, like, tough as nails, you know, just give him extra percent, uh, you know, just give him extra defense, you know, but anything but coward, but, um, yeah, they decided to give him coward, but, again, the rest of his links, very, very good, so, again, running this Bojack with the LR, the, um, int one, you know, they're gonna look very, very disgusting, all right, full power Bojack, now, when he becomes full power Bojack, he does lose the raising defense, but again, that is because Bojack, when he transforms, gets 3 key at the start of turn, already very good, and 180% attack and defense. Again, with his defensive stat, and the fact that, you know, he's got these really good links along with that, Bojack is going to be sitting at a very, very good uh, defensive and attack stat. Alright, so he launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, which is a 30% chance. He gets 30% attack and 15% defense when attacking with 3 or more key spheres obtained, plus an additional 30% attack and 15% defense when attacking with 6 or more key spheres. Now this is the only unfortunate part of his passive, where again, to, I mean, in order to get that extra attack and defense, you do need to get a total of 6 key spheres, so rainbow orb changers are going to be very, very important for this Bojack. But again, other than that, I mean, even if you only get this 180% you know, start a turn buff, that's 180%. And then again, like I said before, factor in links as well. You know, if you really put in the time and you get this guy to level 10 links, you know, you don't even need this rest, you know, the, the, the rest of his passive. You know, he's going to be at a very good uh, point. Oh, wait, accidentally clicked big, uh, big bad bosses. Let's go back. We all know how great that link is, but I don't need that link right now. Oh boy. But again, even without this extra part of his passive, you know, just with links alone, Bojack is going to be sitting very, very uh, well. And again, I mean, getting three key spheres is not usually that hard. Uh, from my personal experience, you know, just kind of like playing the game. So at most, uh, Bojack is going to be getting 210% attack and 195% defense. Again, with that only 15% extra defense is going to do a lot. So again, you know, Bojack, very, very, uh, very good unit. And I'm, I mean, he's a buff to a lot of categories. Terrifying Conquerors, Full Power really needs the help because, again, no one really runs that team. Inhuman Deeds, for sure. You know, um, LR, uh, Nap and Vegeta really need the buff. Resurrected Warriors. Transformation Boost, not really, but, again, that category just gets buffed all day. Movie Bosses, for sure. And then, of course, you, you know, uh, Time Travelers, again, 
it's a pretty much a dead team. But again, with this Bojack, I hope it does come back. Because again, Time Travelers, uh, Time Travelers is a really fun team. So yeah, that's Bojack. Very, very good unit. Alright, next up is Zangia. Now, this Zangia unit, uh, she can be decent, but again, she is very, very limited. She's just like Thouser that released with Cooler. In fact, Bojack is basically not necessarily a downgraded version of Cooler, but just kind of like a unique version of Cooler. Uh, one more thing, if you guys can hear my computer hissing, I do apologize for that. I'm going to try to make it so that you guys don't hear it, uh, but yeah, I'm, I, need to get, I need to get my PC up and running. I don't know how much longer my Mac can take. Alright, so Zangia is Space Traveling Warriors 3 key 120% to stats. On her super attack, she lowers attack and defense. Again, that is a very uh, good ability when it comes to Super Battle Road. And the fact that she's extreme tech uh, really, really helps out that team. So she gets 30% attack and defense per Space Traveling Warriors category ally on the team. Now again, this is where Zangia really, really hurts herself where she needs Space Traveling Warriors category allies in order to get her attack and defense. I think that is probably the worst thing about her. But again, you know, other than that, I mean, she has a, she has a medium chance of launching an additional super attack, which again has a 30% chance of being um, a super attack. Wait, wait, let me rephrase that. All right. She launches an additional attack that has a 30% chance of becoming a super attack when there is an ally whose name includes Bojack attacking in the same turn. So again, you want to run her on the Space Traveling Warriors category team with a Bojack. And then attacked enemies HP... Okay, wait. My mind is all over the place. Attacked enemies attack and defense minus 20% and recovers 10% HP at the start of turn. Now this little buff is not bad. Again, the fact that she lowers their attack and defense by 20%, again, very, very good for Super Battle Road. And the fact that she's also healing is very good. But again, this part of her passive, the fact that she gets all of her attack and defense from Space Traveling Warriors, that is probably the biggest killer for her. Now, in terms of links, her links aren't bad. Again, she's going to share Heraclan, Galactic Warriors, Fierce Battle, Revival with Bojack. So again, she's not going to be a bad linking partner by any means. Uh, but again... See, they gave her shocking speed, I just don't know why they didn't give that to Bojack, instead of Coward. I mean, I'll still never get it, but it is what it is. Uh, she also has Brutal Beatdown and then Battlefield Diva. Now, this is a pretty good link, because if you run her on a, on a Peppy Gals team, she's going to be decent. She's going to share this link with most of the units on there, which is too key, so that isn't that bad. But again, she's basically limited to Space Traveling Warriors, just like uh, Thouser is limited to Terrifying Conquerors. Alright. Now we're going to go over the awakening for this Super Hatchiak. Now before, Hatchiak was basically garbage. Um, I mean, I don't want to be rude, but even after his EZA, he's still kind of ass. <laughs> he's not good by any means. Alright, so Super Hatchiak is 3 key. HP, attack, and defense plus 30% to all types, so not the best leader skill. He raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage to the enemy. Now again, not a good... Uh, super attack effect. I would have maybe liked if they gave him, you know, lowers attack and defense as well, you know, just to buff him. He gets 60% attack and defense at the start of turn. He gets 30% attack and defense at the start of each turn when there is a pure or hybrid saints category enemy up to 90%. Okay, so this part of his passive isn't that hard to get. Again, like 90% of the game is pure and hybrid saiyans. So again, this part is not bad. And the fact that he gets up to 90%, so he's going to be at 150% attack and defense, that's actually not that bad. And then, if he delivers the final blow, he recovers 40% HP. So basically, if Hatchiak kills an enemy, he recovers 40% HP. Now, this actually is not horrible, because, you know, maybe there's a situation in Super Battle Road where there's a unit that's on his, like, last legs of life. And again, you need to recover HP if Super Hatchiak can kill him. Before, you know, say he attacks you, you know, you're going to get that really nice 40% HP regeneration. Uh, so again, it, I mean, it can be useful in certain scenarios, but again, the fact that Hatchiak needs to build up does kind of slow him down uh, slow him down in terms of Super Battle Road. If it was just, you know, he gets 90% attack and defense if there's a pure or hybrid Saiyans, I think would have been much better. But overall, I mean, Hatchiak, he isn't bad, but again, there are better units that I think you would run over this Hatchiak. And then his links, again, not bad links uh, by any means. He has, he's got Hatred of Saiyans, which he shares with uh, the LR Babies, uh, Super Baby 2. Berserker, again, not a bad link, just the conditions are horrible. 
tough as nails, good defensive link, as well as damage reduction at level 10. So, you know, realistically, he could be really, really uh, solid defensively. Big Bad Bosses, again, another great link. Infighter, not the best. Fear and Faith, same thing. It just lowers enemies defense. And it does give key, but again, I don't know why they didn't do more with Fear and Faith. And then Shattering the Limit. So, overall, again, he's not horrible. Uh, but again, they really did need to give him maybe some better links, you know, get rid of Infighter and Fear and Faith, maybe give him Brainiacs, you know, just another good defensive link for him. But again, Artificial Life Forms, you can run him with Super Baby 2, you'll get Hatred of Saiyans, you'll get uh, Big Bad Bosses, you'll, you'll get Shattering the Limit, Fear and Faith, so, you know, I mean, he could be good, uh, depending on where you use him, but again, the Super Hatchiac does leave a lot to be desired. Now, uh, this AGL Whis, uh, <laughs> if you guys don't know, is very, very good. Um, in fact, the truth used him in his no item run for Super AGL Extreme Super Battle Road. So that tells you a lot about this unit, first of all. Alright, so this Whis is AGL type 3 key and 50% to stats. He causes supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. Again, already very good. So it's a 2 turn stun, 30% chance, already extremely good. He gets 2 key and 100% defense. He gets an additional 20% defense with each attack performed up to 100%. So again, you need to get 5 attacks in for Whis to get 200% defense. High chance of launching an additional super attack. So again, that factors in uh, to his passive where he gets 100% defense uh, with, you know, each... Uh, he gets 20% defense with each super attack up to 100%. So this is very, very good. So he's self-sustaining. Fully recovers HP and a great chance of evading enemies' attacks when HP is 30% or less. Now, this is the only part of his passive where I guess it is a little bit limited. Again, just like with Cell, you have to be under like 30% HP, which isn't the most ideal. You know, that's not what you want to be doing when you're in, in the super difficult content. But again, in the super difficult content, I think it is pretty realistic for Whis to get under 30% HP. And again, he's going to full heal you, just like Cell. And then he's got that 70% chance to dodge, which is really good. Now, I don't know if that's for like the rest of the fight or, or, or only for that turn. I'm pretty sure it's for the rest of the fight. Uh, but again, that is actually not a bad, you know, condition. I mean, on paper, it, it could seem like you, you're, you're like you're never going to get it. But again, I feel like in the difficult content like Super Battle Road, that's not going to be that bad. So again, we'll see. But again, I am actually probably going to rainbow this unit. Um, again, Whis does seem to be a very, very good unit for, you know, those that uh, Super Battle Road type content. And then Lynx. Godly Power, Shocking Speed, Connoisseur, Gentleman, Brainiac, Cold Judgment, and Shattering the Limit. Cold Judgment, Defensive Link. So again, Whis, as you guys can see, is going to be very, very defensive uh, oriented. Brainiac's again, another Defensive Link. Shocking Speed also gives defense. Godly Power gives attack. Connoisseur, ooh, recovers HP and 7% defense. And then Gentleman, 2 key, 10% defense. So again, this Whis is very, very good. Uh, again, as you guys can probably guess from his links alone, you know, he is more, you know, very defensive oriented. So if you could get all these links active, Whis is going to be at a very, very solid um, attack. Well, well, I mean, not attack, but very good defensive stat. And again, he's actually going to link up pretty well with Beerus. You know, Godly Power, Shocking Speed, Connoisseur, Shattering the Limit, Gentleman. Uh, very, very good links. And then he's on really good teams as well. Realm of Gods, si uh, Siblings Bond, Bond of Master and Disciple, Space Traveling Warriors. Honestly, if you don't have the STR Whis, this is probably the best Whis you can actually ask for. And he's free to play too, so absolutely grind this guy up. I for sure will. Alright, so now we're on to <clears throat> Super Gogeta. Alright, so this is the EZA for Super Gogeta. Again, Super Gogeta after his EZA is very, very impressive. If you guys want to know how impressive, I highly suggest you guys go check out Detruth. Um, again, he covered all of this when it released on JP. Uh, you know, go look at his Super Battle Road Extreme AGL run. Again, he uses this Whis. Uh, so, again, huge, huge shoutouts to the truth. All right, after his EZA, Super Gogeta is Super Int 3 key 130% to stats, and then Extreme Int 3 key 90% to stats. Uh, his Super Attack, he raises defense for one turn and lowers attack and defense. Again, great effect for Super Battle Road. Uh, he gets 120% attack and defense at the start of turn, with again, um, easy A stats is going to be very, very good. He's effective against all types. He has a medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attack, with one or more rainbow key sphere obtained. 
Uh, now again, this part of his passive is all based on Rainbow Key Spheres, but again, there are units that you can run with him in order to get that off, like Gotenks and Ghost, the free-to-play unit. Again, if you can have a rotation of these two together, uh, you know, Super Gogeta is going to look very, very impressive. He gets an additional 40% attack with two Rainbow Key Spheres obtained, and then he has a high chance of performing a critical hit with three or more uh, Rainbow Key Spheres obtained, which is a 50% chance. So, again, if you get Super Gogeta's you know, full passive active. He's going to be super effective against all types. He's going to be raising defense. He's going to be uh, getting an extra attack buff. And then he's going to have a 50% 50 per, 50 chance to crit. So very, very good unit. And then his links as well. Again, very common Saiyan links. So, you know, he's going to uh, link up really, really well with other units. And then he's a buff to fusion, movie heroes, super Saiyans, other world warriors really needed it. Uh, connected hopes. Again, this is... I believe it is PyCon's team, which currently isn't out on Global. And Power Power of Revival is uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta's team, which again is currently not on Global. So again, overall, uh, Gogeta is a huge buff to all of the teams that he's on. Um, next up is uh, Blue Goku, the AGL one. Alright, so this Blue Goku is actually very, very impressive. Uh, before his EZA, again, all he did was just like hit hard. He got 100% attack when he performed a super attack. So other than that, you know, he really wasn't all that good other than, than just, you know, like me hit hard if you set him up properly. Now after his EZA, he has all types 3 key, 80% to stats. And on his super attack, he raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage to the enemy. Again, any type of defensive raise, very, very good. Um, and, you know, just kind of going over all these units, I would go full additional for Gogeta. For this blue Goku, I would go full additionals for uh, Whis. For Hachiak, again, just go additionals. Uh, Zangia, again, I would probably go additionals just to get again her extra uh, lowering attack and, de and defense off. And then again for and then again for Bojack, additionals is the way to go because again he raises attack and defense. Uh, so that was just me quickly going over them. All right. He gets 100% attack and defense when performing a super attack, again, so you really want to run this guy in the second or third slot, so very, very good already. He gets 59% attack and defense, and all allies chance of performing a critical hit plus 7%, and attack plus 20% when there are only Realm of Gods category allies attacking in the same turn. Alright, so... If you run him on a full Rumble Gods, he's going to be getting 159% attack and defense. He's going to be giving everybody a 7% chance to perform a critical hit. And 20% attack. Now, I don't know if that 20% attack he's giving to the other units, or, or if he's giving that to himself. If he is giving that to himself, he is going to be getting 179% attack and 159% defense when performing a super attack which is very good, and then he's raising his defense. So again, very, very solid unit this blue Goku is. I would go full additionals to maximize his defense, because again, after he supers, he's gonna be like, say for example, 150k defense. Again, I'm very low balling this unit. Um, he's gonna be well over 150k defense. But again, if he gets an additional, he's gonna raise that 150k defense. So he's gonna be at a very, very solid defensive stat. So again, go full additionals for, for this man, and if you have him rainbowed, well, you're about to get a really good unit. The only issue is, again, only on Realm of Gods. Uh, this is only attack and defense he's going to get, other than the, the raising it, uh, if he's on any other category team. But again, really, I think you would probably want to run him on Realm of Gods anyways. So again, very, very solid unit. Finally, the last unit. This is a really long video. There's a lot to cover here is this tech blue goku all right so this tech blue goku is gonna be a nuker based unit uh he's gonna be very good for the uh punching bag event especially for lr goku and frieza because he gives tech type attack plus 35 percent per tech key sphere obtained he raises attack and defense for one turn again very very solid and he changes rainbow key spheres to tech key spheres so he's a rainbow orb changer very very good he gets a hundred percent attack and defense plus an additional 59% attack and defense, and all allies chance performing a critical hit plus 7% when there are when there are only tech type category allies attacking in the same turn. Now this is probably his biggest hindrance is that they can only be tech types, 
but again, based on his design, um, you really only want to be running him in like the punching bag event. I mean, you can run him in other types of events. You know, he's changing Rainbow Key Sphere, so he's a Rainbow Orb Changer. That's very good. He's getting 100% attack and defense on 100% uh, attack and defense. I think this is on Super Attack. Uh, it doesn't say at the start of turn. So again, either this is start of turn or on Super Attack. Either way, still very very solid. He's raising attack and defense. So overall, again, if you don't get this part of his passive off. He's, he's still going to be decent, but again, I would say this guy's probably going to be the best friend for LR Goku and Frieza if you're trying to nuke uh, the punching bag event, just because, again, his leader skills are going to be the best, as well as, you know, uh, the rate, uh, the changing key spheres is going to be really good for that unit. So, again, that is the Bojack celebration in its entirety. Again, I'll cover this EZA and maybe a couple more if, if they decide to come out. Um, again, we'll have to wait and see about uh, the news that's going to be dropping for the BoJack Celebration. That's probably either going to release today or tomorrow. Um, again, we'll see. I mean, if they decide to do a world tournament again, God bless them because <laughs> that's one step closer to having a Rainbow Demon King Piccolo, that's for sure. And then, of course, the Awakenings for this tech cell. That's if they decide to do it. But again, we'll wait and see what the... Uh, uh, news has to say, but again, overall, Bojack Celebration looks to be very, very good. We're gonna get a new uh, virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash, new Dokkan Fest, new new Awakenings. We're gonna get an explosive chain battle, probably if that are already hasn't been on global. But again, I'll double check. An EZA is always very good. I think these guys also have a regular EZA, if I'm not mistaken. But again, I'll check. So, anyways, guys, that is gonna do for today's video. Uh, you guys can let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of Bojack. Again, do I think he's worth summoning? I mean, we'll cover that in a separate video. We'll go over Bojack's banner, the value, the units. So make sure to check out for that video. Make sure to check out that video when it comes out. Speaking of which, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell to make sure you uh, get the notification about every video I post. Because again, I do post daily. And I'll see you guys next time.